What if the foods we've been told to avoid are actually the ones our bodies need the most? For thousands of years, dairy products have had a natural, balanced fatty acid profile, rich in saturated fats and naturally low in unsaturated fats. But today, modern industrial practices are trying to outsmart this natural process and are rewriting this script. Boosting harmful polyunsaturated fats, PUFAs, and slashing saturated fat levels by changing what the cows and other ruminants eat. And this is all driven by the flawed myth and misunderstanding that saturated fats are bad for us and unsaturated fats are the heroes. This deceptive shift is changing the fatty acid profile of our food system, which is changing the types of fat inside of us because you are what you eat. And this has serious negative consequences for our metabolic health. So today we're pulling back the curtain on a natural process that's been fine tuned by mother nature for thousands of years, the cow's digestive system. It's a process that transforms tough to digest plant matter that we cannot utilize into nutrient rich meat and milk products. So join me as we uncover the hidden truth behind a process called biohydrogenation, how industrial agriculture has been meddling with this perfect system, how dairy fat now has more PUFAs than ever before, and why we might be better off trusting mother nature's design over these innovations of big dairy, which could be more damaging to our health than we realize. So together, let's take a closer look at the science behind dairy fats, what's really happening in the dairy industry, and why Mother Nature's design is the one that we should trust. First things first, let's dive into the incredible digestive system of cows. At its core lies the rumen, a specialized multi-chamber stomach designed to break down fibrous plant material into essential nutrients for that animal. And this remarkable process is powered by trillions of microbes living in the rumen, working in harmony to sustain the animal's health. To put this into perspective, a single milliliter of rumen fluid contains three times more microbes than there are humans on this planet. It's an extraordinary system showcasing the true marvels of mother nature. And it's quite comical to think that we could ever outsmart something so intricately and beautifully designed. So rumen and animals produce meat and milk that is naturally high in saturated fats and naturally low in unsaturated fats, just as mother nature intended. Even when ruminant animals consume a small amount of polyunsaturated fats through supplemental grain, a remarkable process called biohydrogenation converts most of those unsaturated fats into stable, health-promoting saturated fats through a series of enzymatic reactions. This process occurs in the rumen, where microbes attach to unsaturated fatty acids and sequentially add hydrogen atoms to their chemical structure, saturating the fats. This transformation not only stabilizes the fats, but makes them less prone to oxidation, enhancing their nutritional value and digestibility. As a result, meat and milk have an optimal fatty acid profile, higher in saturated fats than unsaturated fats, a balance that has nourished humans and supported our health for thousands of years. It's a perfect natural system designed for resilience and nourishment. But this biohydrogenation process only works up to a certain point, and here's where things take a turn. The dairy industry, particularly big dairy, has been working to outsmart this natural process and has been working to override it. How? by introducing rumen protected fats, essentially fats that are shielded from the rumen's natural biohydrogenation process, allowing to bypass the transformation and slide directly into the milk, unsaturating it. So essentially exposing the ruminant animal to levels of PUFAs that it's never seen before. These fats come from oil seeds and industrial seed oils like soy, canola, and sunflower. The goal here is to increase the levels of unsaturated fat levels in the milk, which may sound like a health benefit at first, since that's what mainstream wants you to believe. But in reality, the opposite is happening. When we increase the PUFA content levels in the milk, we're not just adding something, we're also taking something away. We're taking away the saturated fats that our bodies need for optimal metabolism and health. For something to go up, something else has to come down. And in this case, when PUFAs go up, saturated fat content will be decreased. Here's a quote from a recent research paper, quote, new protected fats were developed in recent years that were designed to resist biohydrogenation and enhance the concentration of unsaturated fatty acids in milk, end quote. This is a zero sum game and unfortunately we're the ones losing. 
The saturated fats that support vital functions in our body are being replaced by PUFAs, which have a very different impact on overall health and metabolism. For decades, we've been told that saturated fat is bad for us, but this narrative driven by industry, pharmaceutical giants, and government agents, well, it's built on questionable science. In reality, saturated fats, particularly those found in dairy fat, have been shown to benefit cardiovascular health, support lean body mass and body composition, and even protect against diabetes. You may have even heard about a newly discovered group of odd chain saturated fats like C150, which are now recognized as essential for health due to their profound effects on metabolic health and inflammation. C150 enhances insulin sensitivity, reduces inflammation, promotes anti-aging, and supports liver, heart, and gut health. And what do you think the best source of these odd chain saturated fatty acids are? Grass-fed dairy. But the problem arises when we start manipulating the natural fatty acid profile of dairy. By increasing PUFAs like linoleic acid, we inadvertently reduce the crucial saturated fats, including C150 and odd chain saturated fats. Remember, for something to go up, something else has to go down. This push to alter the fat composition of milk began in the 1980s at the height of the anti-saturated fat, anti-cholesterol campaign, and the results aren't looking good. Things become truly concerning when we analyze the science behind how effective this technology really is in manipulating the natural fatty acid content of dairy. By feeding cows and other ruminant animals unnatural levels of PUFAs in their diets, often derived from industrial seed oils, we witness a dramatic shift in the fatty acid composition of milk. The more PUFAs in the diet of the animal, the higher the unsaturated fat content. Now this isn't always just a small change. It can significantly reduce the saturated fat content levels, often by 20% or more. In fact, the total unsaturated fat content of milk increases linearly with higher levels of rapeseed oil, otherwise known as canola, in the cow's diet. One study even demonstrated how combining linseed oil and fish oil can double the PUFA content in milk while slashing the saturated fat level. And it's not just cows, goat milk can face the same issues. Numerous studies show that the same manipulation can occur in goat dairy, reducing beneficial saturated fats and increasing PUFAs. This shift is a major concern for both the quality of the dairy and the long-term health implications of consuming these altered fats. So here's the kicker. By increasing the PUFA content in milk, we're not just altering the fat content, we're also harming our health and making the milk less stable. PUFAs are inherently unstable molecules, and this is due to the chemical structure of fatty acids. Saturated fat are stable compounds. PUFAs, on the other hand, are inherently unstable molecules, making them highly prone to oxidation. When exposed to factors like air, heat, and light, which can happen in storage and during our digestion, PUFAs undergo oxidative degradation, which can lead to the formation of harmful free radicals and lipid peroxides. This process not only diminishes the nutritional quality of the fat, but also potentially creates compounds that are damaging to our cells and our tissues. Now, this isn't just a theoretical risk. Research is already showcasing that increasing PUFA content in milk could make it more prone to oxidation, lowering its nutritional quality and potentially making it harmful over time. Here's a quote from a recent research paper, quote, increasing the concentration of nutritionally beneficial fatty acids in milk also increases the risk of milk fat oxidation, leading to changes in the nutritional and dietary properties of milk, end quote. And let's not forget, we are what we eat. So when we consume more unsaturated fat, the fat inside of our bodies becomes more unsaturated too. In fact, the massive increase in dietary PUFAs in our food system has fundamentally altered the composition of fats in our bodies. Compared to our great-grandparents, we're far more unsaturated. Even mother's milk contains higher levels of PUFAs. And this is reshaping our biology in profound ways. More unsaturated fat in our bodies sends a different metabolic signal than the more saturated fat our grandparents had. This shift towards unsaturated body fat tends to downregulate metabolism, influencing our overall health and energy balance. So speaking of fatty acid manipulation, it's not just the cow's diet that's altering the fatty acid profile of milk. There's also a troubling trend where ingredients are being added to milk in the container to further manipulate its composition. Since when did we start treating whole foods like they need to be re-engineered? Take the recent trend of omega-3 enriched milk, for example. This is achieved by adding algae oil, which is rich in omega-3 like DHA, to the milk container itself. So now milk has two ingredients, milk and algae oil. 
While omega-3s can be beneficial in small, natural amounts, more is not always better. Omega-3s, like other PUFAs, are unstable and are highly prone to oxidation. The DHA in algae oil, for instance, is highly vulnerable to oxidative degradation, and this oxidation leads to harmful byproducts like HHE, HNE, and MDA, which increase oxidative stress and inflammation in the body. Milk, in its natural form, isn't meant to be loaded with excessive omega-3s. Adding them disrupts the natural fatty acid balance in milk creating something that's unnatural and far removed from the nutritional profile that Mother Nature intended. Milk is already perfectly balanced in its natural form, and this kind of tinkering could end up causing more harm than good. So the bottom line here is simple. Nature knows best. For thousands of years, cows and other ruminant animals have been converting fibrous plant material into nutrient-dense, saturated, fat-rich milk, which we have consumed or transformed into other dairy products. This natural process has nourished civilizations and has helped us thrive. But now, industrial agriculture thinks it's smarter than Mother Nature and is working hard to override this process, and the results aren't in our favor. We've been sold a flawed narrative about saturated fats, and the industry's attempt to improve on nature's design are doing more harm than good. From rumen-protected fats to omega-3 enriched milk, these interventions are pushing us further away from the natural fats that our bodies rely on to be metabolically healthy. The rise of polyunsaturated fat PUFAs in our food system, from vegetable oils to dairy alternatives like nut milks and altered animal fats like PUFA-rich pork and chicken products, it's wreaking havoc on human metabolism. With so many shifts already impacting our food system, adding even more PUFAs through manipulated dairy products is the last thing our bodies need. So to reap the true health benefits of dairy, it's essential to know where your milk and dairy products come from. Do you know what the cows, goats, and sheep are being fed at the source of the dairy? A little bit of grain isn't a problem, thanks to the biohydrogenation process. The problem arises when we're giving those animals more PUFAs than they've ever been exposed to, which overrides the natural biohydrogenation process. So the diet should be primarily pasture-based and free from industrial oil seeds like canola and other rumen-protected fats that are being used in some parts of the dairy industry to bypass rumen digestion and unnaturally increase unsaturated fat levels. Also, don't be swayed by the marketing hype around omega-3s or other enhanced dairy products. Our bodies thrive on real, whole, unmodified foods. Instead, whenever you can, support farmers, farm cooperatives, or buying clubs that are raising livestock in harmony with nature. Choose dairy from cows and other ruminant animals raised on natural pasture-based diets this is how we get dairy with the right balance of saturated fats, the kind our bodies were designed to thrive on and the kinds that Mother Nature intended. By making these more informed decisions, you're not just accessing health-promoting milk and dairy with the natural fatty acid profile it was meant to have, but you're also supporting farmers who work with Mother Nature, not against it. Together, we can build a food system from the ground up. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to learn more about how nature provides the best solutions for our health, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and share this video with a friend. Let's bring back the foods that have nourished us for generations.